Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope everyone is doing good in life. So today we are going to see the first question that came up in bi-weekly contest 119. That's a find common elements between two array. So let's see the question. The question is, you're given a two zero indexed integer array num1 and num2. Okay. You have to return the number of indices. Okay. The number of indices, not the indices, the number of indices such that there is some element in num1 that is the first array that is common to second array okay and that's that's going to be the first thing that you return the first number and the second number is the number of indices that is that appears in nums2 that's the second array and at least appears at once uh, in the first array okay let's directly move on to the example and let's understand from the example itself Okay, let me erase this. Okay, uh, let's proceed. Okay, it is it is two, right? It is two. So what it says is the number of index in A one that is the first array and the number of index that is A two in the second array and the number of element that occurs in both of them. Okay, so you can see three, two, three. Okay. 3 2 3 these three elements that is these two elements occur in this two this array also a2 also okay you can see 2 and 3 so from which index to which index they occurred which means how many number of indices are equal you can see here from here three index that is index number 1 index number 2 index number 3 and from here index number 1 sorry index number 0 1 3 and 4, 4 index. So, what we would return? We would return 3 and 4. So, this is a pretty easy question and uh, you can implement it directly using brute force. But I had tried to optimize it a bit. I will now show you the code. Uh, what I had done is I had initialized unordered set. You might ask why I have done this. I have done this because I will show you from the example only. Okay. You can see here there are many repeating elements. Okay. Show you. There are many repeating elements. Like 2 is repeating. Okay. You can see like 2 is repeating here, 2 is again repeating. What I did is I did a simple thing by initializing set. I turned a1 to 4. 3, 2, 1. No repeating things because repeating elements will only increase my time complexity. And A2 to 2, 5, 3, 6. Now, what I do is I just compare like if 3 is available in this one, A1, and if it's available in this one, counter plus plus, counter plus plus. That's one. Now I would compare if 2 is available in this one. And 2 is available in this one. Again, counter plus plus. Again, plus plus. Then I would compare for this thing also. If 2 is available in this one, 2 is available in this one. Another counter for this, counter plus plus. If it's available in this one, another counter for this, counter plus plus. I would show you something else also. I have used here set dot count uh, because it helps me in finding the num, the particular number. Uh, that is present in nums1 whether it's present in set 2 that's uh, array 2 set dot count time complexity is o of 1 that is a constant time complexity because of which i am using it here okay as i have explained to you there if it is available it if the number from the first uh, uh, array is available in the second array then just increase the counter by one and similarly for the next one also if from the second array the number is present in the first array increase the counter of two and this return the counter value of 1 and counter value of 2. This will return you the uh, number of indices which are common. Hope you would get the solution. You need not implement it like this. You can implement it by using your own brute force solution. There is not an issue. So, if this video was helpful. Please hit that like button and subscribe to DCZ Nita YouTube channel. With this, bye bye. Take care.